morning to ya. It is March 15th and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight. In just a couple days you are going to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day if that is something that you celebrate in your classroom. So today I have a fun activity I wanted to share with you and it is called the Shamrock Shuffle. Let me show you how to play. Before I dive in on how to play Shamrock Shuffle, I do want to let you know that if you're looking for any last minute activities for St. Patrick's Day, I actually have two free products over in my TPT store. The first one I'll show a picture of here. It is a close reading passage and a fun poem. Um, the passages are geared towards first and second grade. First grade, I'll let you know that I would always read it with the students or aloud to the students unless you have a higher group that can read it themselves. And second graders have always been able to do this in the past uh, on their own independently. And so after they read the passage, there is a comprehension sheet as well as a vocabulary sheet that they can go ahead and complete. And it's all nonfiction. It is about it, the celebration of St. Patrick's Day. And there's also a fun poem in there for students to kind of read and analyze as well. Another free thing I have for you is an interactive read aloud lesson for Jamie O'Rourke in The Big Potato. So you can grab both of those. I'll have them linked down in my description below for you to grab after this video. Now, something really cool about St. Patrick's Day is it is actually celebrated in Ireland on March 17th, just like it is here in the US. Now, so many of the holidays that we end up celebrating in our classrooms here in the United States aren't even celebrated in the country that they're supposed to be, you know, celebrating. So I always like teaching a little bit about St. Patrick's Day. I don't generally do a big, huge, you know, shebang out of it, but we will read some stories and we will find out why the holiday is celebrated in the first place. And there's nothing wrong with a couple fun games and read aloud lessons. So the game I wanted to share today is called Shamrock Shuffle, and it is a fun way to get your students up, get them moving and get them practicing some math. So the Shamrock Shuffle is going to basically combine kind of freeze dance along with a read the room type of activity. So to set this up, I go ahead and I create a bunch of circles with big shamrocks on them. This one I obviously drew myself and they will have a bunch of sums in the middle of the shamrock. Now I do have some of these I created for you completely free that will also be linked in the description down below. So what you'll do is you'll take the big circles and you will kind of either put them on the floors or on the walls, but you'll spread them out around the room. You can tape them to the walls, however you want to do it. Then you will go ahead and you can pair students up or you can have them do it independently. It's up to you, but each student will go ahead and get an addition card. Once they have their addition card, they will stay still and they will wait for you to play some fun Irish music. Now, depending on what you taught that day, you can share with them that this is some traditional Irish music. You can show them some YouTube videos of people doing Irish step dancing or the Irish jig and the students will go ahead and dance around until the music stops. As they're dancing around, they're supposed to be looking for the sum of their little card. So let's say I have 10 plus seven in my hand, I'll be dancing around, the music's on, but my goal is not just to dance and be silly and have fun, which is part of it, but I'm supposed to be looking at these shamrocks and trying to find the sum. Because when the music stops, you have to look and see, everyone freezes, and you have to see who was able to get to their shamrock. And you can walk around, see if everybody has it correct, Sometimes I like to um, ask like three or four students to be my checkers for a round. So they will actually have the job of going around and making sure everybody's sum matches up to the shamrock. And then in the next round, they can go ahead and switch and join the game and you'll get some new checkers. This game does require some prep because you will go ahead and, you know, print these out and color them in or whatever you want to do, put them on green paper and you'll have to print out the little index cards, but it's just a lot of fun. It's a fun way for in the month of March for students to get up, get them moving, get them grooving and have them practicing some addition. And don't worry, I also went ahead and included some blank shamrocks that you can go ahead and insert your own sums. And I also left some blank index cards for you or some blank, you know, addition cards, whatever you want for them. So that way you can kind of customize this game for your own students if this addition doesn't work for you. And that is how you play Shamrock Shuffle. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know and go ahead and leave me a comment down below letting me know which of these activities you are planning on printing out and using this week with your students. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new week's video. I'll see you next week. Bye.